Welcome to the Underground Cookery School fortnightly video podcast. Today uh, we're going to do a lemon tart. The first job is to make a very quick pastry. Um, we're going to make the dough in exactly the same way that we would normally, except um, we're going to roll it out with uh, a slight twist. Two parts flour to one part butter. I'm just going to dot the butter in to form a dough. So when you get to this sort of apple crumble mixture, the next job is to add an egg yolk, which is going to be the moisture. So I'm going to make a little well in the middle like that. And although my hands are quite dirty, it doesn't matter. Um, we're doing this in one take. Um, I'm just going to take an egg yolk and throw that in there, break it up. What I'm going to do now for the next minute or two is just work that dough until we end up with the pastry that we want. As you get towards the end, you should end up with um, a pretty clean bowl. And here's, the, um, here's where things start to go slightly differently. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap this up with cling film and let it rest in the fridge um, for about half an hour. So um, I've been busy preparing all these ingredients whilst you've been away and in the last half hour obviously the pastry has been in here and it's rock hard. So I'm going to show you my new way of preparing pastry for people that hate pastry. I am one of them. Um, so I'm just going to put some butter into a um, flan tin and you can get these from nisbets.com or any good um, uh, bakery. Actually, I'm going to put a little, and when I said bakery, I meant cook shop. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in there because I haven't got sugar in the pastry. And I'm just going to knock it around, but that will give it um, a nice bit of sweetness. So it's actually a, quite a clever way of putting some sugar in your pastry if you would like. Right, um, what I'm going to do now is just unwrap this pastry. For all you pastry aficionados, I know that this isn't a fantastic pastry, but um, anyway, give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, what I'm going to do is now just grate the pastry in, and I'm telling you, this works really well. I'm going to grate it in, and I'm just going to do a little pile on the side as well, which is going to help me go all the way around the edges. I've got a sheet of cling film here. You don't have to use it, but it does keep the pastry um, nice and cold. And um, one of the brilliant ways um, one of the reasons why you would make pastry this way is because there are little holes in the um, um, actual case and that allows the pastry to breathe. So you don't need to prick it with a fork. The results are spectacular. Um, it's a real sort of um, shortbread style texture. And this came about because um, in the restaurant that I used to work, they didn't have enough um, time or room. So they used to make the pastry the night before uh, and then they didn't have time the next morning to um, uh, you know, let it sort of cool down a bit from coming out the fridge so that, so that you could roll it out. So someone had the genius idea of grating it and um, no one has ever looked back in that restaurant ever since and um, it has since got a Michelin star. So um, it just goes show. Now if you press in, press in with one thumb and down with the other, you should find that you get a really lovely professional finish like that. And I'm just going to tidy it up as I go along, a little bit on top, so that it should be perfectly smooth. Um, so there's the finished pastry case and I'm just going to shove that in the oven for about um, 10 minutes or so, just so that it cooks all the way through. And whilst we do that, we'll wait for it to, um, to cook through, we're going to prepare the lemon curd. Um, and I've got all these ingredients. So I've got here um, three whole eggs and uh, two yolks. So that goes in there. I've got some lemon zest. And let me show you how you get lemon zest. It's really simple. You just get either a, a cheese grater or a zester. And it goes in like that, um, together with uh, some lemon juice. So that's going to go in. And I've got 120 grams of sugar. I'm not going to use all of it though. Probably about 100 grams and just give it a good old whisk. And what I'm going to do 
is get that all into the saucepan. Over here, uh, I've got some butter. What uh, a good gag, that one. And I'm just going to dot bits of butter into the lemon curd mixture. Now, what you've got to do is make sure that the eggs don't cook through. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix this up, taking it on and off the hob for the next five or six minutes. Right, well, the lemon curd is now beautifully uh, finished off. Look at that texture. Completely different to when we started. Um, if I take out the uh, tartlet, it's going to be cooked all the way through. And what I'm going to do now is just pour the lemon curd mixture into the tartlet case. And then we're just going to cook it through a little bit more. So I'm going to take that lemon tart out of the oven. It's been here in here for about uh, seven or eight minutes. It hasn't caramelised on the top, but don't worry. If you make a bigger one, it probably will. The smaller ones tend not to, but that pastry is nice and cooked. Um, at the moment, it's souffléed up. So, um, as I always say, if you, take, if you cook something in the oven, you need to let it set anyway. So what we're going to do is come back to that in about five or six minutes' time. Um, what would have happened is the lemon curd will set, and we'll then be able to take it out the pastry case and then plate it out. Well, look at that. In about five minutes, it's, it, it, it's set. I mean, it doesn't look very impressive, so we need to, to do stuff to make it look a bit more impressive. I'm just going to stick it on the plate, keep it together like that. Um, what I'm going to do is just put some berries on top and a little bit of icing sugar. And there you have it, a lovely lemon tart.